Hello everybody, Mark Karras, Senior Principal Consultant with PM Square. Today's topic, we will be continuing an earlier published article introducing the new dynamic default prompt parameters feature added in Cognos Analytics Release 12 in late 2023. While my colleague Danny Gargas' earlier article introduced this long-awaited feature, I am hoping to show some more advanced techniques using queries and ex report expressions to be leveraged when scheduling reports, for example. So, without further ado, let's dig in. For the sake of time, I've already built a simple report that shows dates and their summarized revenue values. Please note I have altered the dates to be around today's date uh, for the sake of the demonstration as we are using the Go Sales query package and sample data, which is from oh, a decade or so ago. Anyway, um, the requirement of the report is to show the current month's dates only up to yesterday by default. So an in-range filter has been added and a prompt page to support it. So let's go ahead and preview that. So you'll see we'll have a, a prompt page here with the from and to uh, which are defaulting to today's date, January 12th, 2024. We'll click finish. And you'll see that we are showing just today's data. The requirement is, again, for the report's initial rendering to be for the first of the month through yesterday. So let's go ahead and see how the new parameter view will allow us to take care of that. So again, under the report tree here, we can see a new selection called parameters, and that's where we've gone. Um, and it defaults to the all parameters tab, which shows any parameters that are already existing in the report. In our case here, we have date range, and that's what we're looking to add a default set of values for. So let's click over on the default values tab and click the add, and we'll add a date parameter. Now note the name can be typed in or you can use the selector. We want to go to the report parameters and use date range. So click OK. And that gives us the date range. Now to set the default values, we need to do, do another add here. And we need to choose either value or range value. Well, it's a date range, so let's add a range value. We'll enable the minimum value and the maximum value. We'll go ahead and click on the ellipses for the minimum value. We'll change it from text to report expression. And then we'll go ahead and add in our expression for the minimum date. I have these saved off for the sake of time. Paste that in. So we're using the first of month function on the report date, which is equivalent to today's date for the minimum. Click OK. And then we'll do the same for the maximum value. Change that from text to a report expression. Get our expression. And paste it in. And this is the add days function again on today. And we're subtracting one to get yesterday. Pretty straightforward. So now we have the minimum value and we have the maximum value default range value set. Click OK. And let's preview the report and let's see how it's changed. Now when we run the report, those default values are going to be queried and kicked in to our prompt value. Notice now we have the 1st and the 11th of the current month. Click Finish and voila, we see the three dates that are in the data for that date range between January 1st, 2024 and yesterday, January 11th, 2024. All right, so, so to summarize, this first example uh, is using a report expression to set our default values. Um, this is especially useful when uh, filtering and setting defaults on dates and used for everyday reports, but even more specifically, very useful for uh, reports with a date prompt that are being scheduled. And I wanted to show you uh, what I mean by that. So in our environment, I have a report 
that I have scheduled and we're going to bring up that schedule and I have it to run every day at 3.20 p.m. I've also got the uh, runs up for that so let's take a quick look here uh, you can see it's run the last five days we'll go to January 10's run we'll bring up the HTML for that the output and I would expect this had been run on the 10th for the 1st through the 9th January 1st through January 9th we see the data is just there for the 9th same schedule next day January 11th let's look at the output from that run and I would expect this would now be the 1st through the 10th and I didn't click it properly so let's try that again and now we see the 9th and the 10th. So for reports that have a, a date prompt or a date range, date value that uh, the report is being constrained by, that's going to be moving or changing every day, uh, this new parameters view and dynamic prompt parameter default value setting is going to be quite useful for you. Okay, the next default parameter type we would like to discuss uses a query to set the default value. I've gone ahead and pre-built a report that is complete and it has an inline prompt, meaning no prompt page, and a visualization. Let's go ahead and run this report and let me show you what we've got so far. Now it does have a parameter for product type and because they don't have a prompt page, there is a system generated prompt page. I happen to know 951 is a valid product type for cooking gear so that's what I'll enter and that's what we're showing to start the uh, start our, our viewing now the requirement is to have the product type pre-selected that has the best gross margin so this first selection here insect repellents so let's see how we can use the new uh, parameter view in the reporting application to preset that parameter using a query. I've already got the parameter added to uh, this uh, view, P product type, and now I need to just need to set the default values. And we're just going to set a single value and we're going to choose query prompt product type. It's the same query that's populating the prompt control. And our properties that we're going to include are the margin. We're going to click OK. We only want to get one value back. We only want to have that top row selected. Okay. The value of the source type is going to be the product type code. The display value is going to be a date item value. And it's going to be the display value. So let's click OK. We now have that set up to use the product type code and let's preview the report again. We will not get the system generated prompt page and insect repellent should be pre-selected and run the report. Voila! As you can see this long-awaited feature is quite powerful and eliminates the need for any custom coding to set default prompt parameters. So. Um, please get in, play with it on your environment, find different ways to use it, um, share with us how you're using it. It'd be great to see uh, this gain some traction out in the Cognos Analytics community. Okay, for now, goodbye, and we'll see you soon.